Hey guys, Lawrence here, and you might recognize this old layout, and if you're a really early adopter of the Master Collects channel, this is where I used to film my stuff. I mean, you know, even the grandfather clock back there, which has never worked. I think it did work at one point, but I can't really remember. But yeah, this is um, the second entry in Vlogmas, or Vlogmas, or however you want to pronounce it. And today's been relatively straightforward. We literally just drove down to my parents or, you know, my old home. We had a nice British Sunday lunch and let's just consider it like an early Christmas dinner as it were. But we've not only been doing that, earlier yesterday, we didn't actually have this ready for yesterday's vlog. She has actually taken the GoPro and has been filming the process. So we'll go to that right now. So what are they, Philly? Biscuits. We're gonna make three batches, but for one batch, you need 250 grams of plain flour, 85 gram, grams of ground almonds, one teaspoon of ground ginger, half a teaspoon of bicarbonate of soda, 200 mils of clear honey, uh, one lemon finely zested, 85 grams of butter. We tend to use stalk because it's That's really good for baking. Really. Yeah, it's really good for baking. Um, and then you need a pinch each of ground cloves, ground nutmeg, and then uh, a teaspoon of baking powder. Ah, so all of that was going to make biscuits. Fingers crossed, if it all is successful. Yeah. We'll keep you posted. Actually pretty authentic tasting and they look really adorable as well and actually made for a really good prop for the uh, Goku Santa Saiyan thing. Let me know what you thought of that whole thing because we're going to be doing a picture involving the Goku Santa costume every single day until Christmas Day. That's going to be a little story in of itself. You heard of Elf on the Shelf? Well how about you try Goku on the Roku? Jin. Check out the community tab on that one on my main channel for more information about that one as well as Twitter or Instagram, or Facebook, or basically anywhere I have social media available. Also, you might have been able to tell I finally had my hair cut. Uh, I got that done this morning as well. That was one of the errands I had to do. And yeah, it, it definitely had to be done because I think I can't even remember the last time I had my hair cut. And I think some people in the comments will go like, dude, get your hair cut. And back in the day, my hair would get so tall, it would then eventually collapse under its own weight. Fortunately, that hasn't happened, but it was starting to get a bit floppy at the front. But now that's all taken care of. And we're going to be having to feed a very, very irate Smokey for not giving him attention throughout the entire day. So there we go. Who knows? I might do a video during this Vlogmas time talking about Smokey. I hope you're having a good rest of your day and I hope you have some Christmas baking in the offings as well. But until the next one, guys, well, just a little salute to what was once the place where I made my videos for a good like year and a bit that this was where it all began and now it's basically my brother's workstation i mean the, de the desk is the same like the desk's still here and the uh the, the awning behind was there as well but uh, that's just off screen hey guys lawrence here and welcome to the third day that is vlogmas or vlogmas or whoever you wish to refer to this as whoever whatever yeah it's been a long day anyway this marks the third video I've recorded today thus far. So it's been a very busy start to December, what with uh, filming a discussion video, then doing a shed talk, editing both of them, and now talking about today's topic, this very tree. So this tree is just a showcase of all the different baubles of all the locations and places that we've been to to visit on holiday. So for example, we've got this one here from Copenhagen. That's a little mermaid right there. Very nice little tourist attraction here. And then we've got this one where we got this one from Chicago and we actually had this written for us in person. It's just the year that we went to it as well as little stockings. Now one more for Chicago. We've got ourselves Dabin. It's actually quite a heavy one. Ah, for 12 bucks, it's actually really dense. And then we've got the Tivoli Gardens again from Copenhagen, so that was a really nice one. Very nice, quaint one, I 
must say. And then we got this one from Montenegro. Uh, this one's from KOTOR, I believe. I love KOTOR, the city of cats. If you like yourself some cats, you gotta go there. The cat museum, it's a little small, but it's cheap to get in, and more often than not, there's gonna be a cat just wandering around. And then we got this wood one from Ljubljana in Slovenia, and it's very nice and simple. And it just really reminds us of how much we really enjoyed Slovenia. I mean, like, a lot. And then we've got this really big one at the bottom, which is from Croatia. And this one's from Split. And there's a lot of Game of Thrones thing. Really, the cruise that we went to on our holidays was mainly just about Game of Thrones locations. And that's okay, because we did a lot of walking. And Split, really, really hot. I can't tell you how glad I was to get back to the boat. I'm pretty sure Philly was glad to get back there too. Uh, another one from Croatia, so we've got this one from Dubrovnik, or in this case on this one, Dubro for Nick. Please shed light as to why there is a space, if it needs to be, or that's just a regular typo. And then this one, just in a nice little kind of blue one from Venice, or Venezia. And it's uh, St. Mark uh, Square. And yeah, that's simple, but not bad for uh, collecting for the last two years. Oh, and there's this other one of the John Han Hancock Tower and the Bean, and this one right at the back. Eventually, I think, give it another year or two, and we will not be able to fit it on a three-foot tree. We'll probably have to get a bigger tree. Who knows what kind of um, Christmas ornaments that we've got to get in Japan, because... Oh yeah, Philly, we've got to go and do that in Japan as well. Definitely. Yeah, how many? I'm guessing... three. You've got these little baubles as well. You know, they're, they're just there to kind of plump up the tree so it's not too bare. And then these lights, you know, they're nice, cheap, they're purple. They were a pound, they were from Poundland, so really not that bad at all. They've lasted a good year without breaking. I'm impressed, Poundland. And of course, there's a Jack Skellington and a Jiminy Cricket, these things we got from the Disney store in Chicago. They did not survive the transit home that well, but it's okay. We just make them ornaments at the bottom of the tree. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It's a nice, short and simple thing. Tomorrow's vlog's gonna be interesting because I've gotta go up to Victoria tomorrow to the Google Academy. What for? You'll find out then. Hey guys, Lawrence here, and welcome to day floor of Vlogmas. Vlo day floor, I feel like I'm on the floor again. Early morning, early rise up. Today, I'm up to the Google Academy around Buckingham Palace Road to the Victoria area. So, I missed the main train to get to Victoria, so I'm going to have to wait till the next one. But for the moment, there is an empty platform. And there's nothing better than an empty platform, because you can do artsy film stuff without anyone noticing. Today's lecture I'm going up to is about talking about merchandise and stuff like that. It's interesting, just kind of getting a little bit more insight. And I might actually get to see my channel manager, hopefully. But for now, I've got to get up to central London first, so let's go and do that. Huh, would you look at that? It did the thing. So fun fact, this is the Google Academy and I actually came here for an interview about like seven years ago to be like a media intern. So it's been back a lot of memories. Like I don't like I don't remember it being this hidden away, but yeah, it's really stylish. So today's topic is about merchandising, so I need to kind of get that right. And all about the marketing. Yes, my marketing game is not high enough, so I need to improve that. My friend Ali Monty was meant to come today, but she's not feeling too well. She was at Wales Comic Con over the weekend, so she's a bit tired. So I'm just on my lonesome. So today I've got to go learn stuff. So even though I may not film much today, I've got to admit this was actually a lot better than I expected. I went into this not really thinking much of it. Definitely got a lot of thinking to do because this could potentially be a very big thing. Is this the Christmas miracle that I expected? I don't really know. I've actually talked to a lot of people today. It's actually been really, really good. Google Academy and YouTube, good on you guys. Now, time for a little bit of a drinky and then to get myself back home in London rush hour. quite content with this day. Video went out, what if uh, Cell turned good part four? That went 
better than expected usually. Over 20,000 views so far. If we can get to 30,000 before 10 p.m. tonight, I'll be a happy bunny. And it looks like it will hit that target. Anyway, I guess that's it for day four. Tomorrow, I think it's relatively chill. I think I'll probably just be working on like website ideas and trying to bring the ideas up to date to fruition. Hey guys, Lawrence here and welcome to day five of Vlogmas. It's been a bit of a busy day in terms of stuff that I've been doing. You see, yesterday, as you may have seen, I was at the Google Academy talking about diversification of revenue and just general YouTube stuff. I came up with an idea which I think is going to be really good, but you're going to have to wait for it because I've got a lot of stuff to plan. I've got a lot of content to make before I go to Japan. I've got Japan itself, as well as, you know, a wedding to help plan because I'm in it. You know, the groom is kind of required. But the thing that I can do right now, one of the things that I really thought I need to look into is actually finally developing a website. And I actually managed to secure masterqx.com. So I'm really happy about that. It's more like kind of just like an archive and a database of all these different things. And I had some good ideas from people over on Twitter to have some pages dedicated to various content. And to anyone that actually did the super fan art challenges, that means they can go there and you know, their content is there to be seen. That's definitely one of the takeaways I had What with all the Article 13 nonsense, the Tumblr gate thing, oh my goodness. It just made me think that really, not all platforms are that stable, but the most stable thing you can have is your own website. So today in terms of cooking, I made lamb koftas, which were really, really good. I'm starting to really get that one down. And I made them with peppers and mushrooms as well to kind of bulk out the broth, so that's really good. Very nice winter warmer there. It's like a little broth soup with lamb meatballs, essentially. Uh, in a couple of days, my friend Julie's going to be coming down with some of her friends. And I'm going to show them around town and hang out with them. So you'll get to see that in some of the vlog. Last weekend was like the last weekend where we had nothing to do with other people. Pretty much well into January, all our weekends are occupied with some kind of social function. Or a convention or a holiday. So that was it really, just kind of working on stuff for my own website and social media and just my presence on the internet to try and stabilize it in some way. And yeah, I got a lot of good ideas yesterday and I really hope to carry them through and really establish them going into 2019. And in terms of content, I think the last discussion that we're doing is going out on the 13th. That's like a summary of what's happened in 2018 for Dragon Ball in the community. The rest of the time in 2018, it's going to be dedicated to purely what ifs. r, &R episode 3, eh, we're, we're going to work on it, we're hopefully going to get it out, but, you know, here's hoping. Anyway, I hope you guys are doing well, I hope you have a good rest of your day, and tomorrow, I think it's mainly just going to be recording stuff, but you'll get to see that then. Hey guys, Lawrence here, and welcome to day six of Vlogmas. And hey, I managed to get the number pronounced correctly. Today again, it was a pretty simple affair. I produced a what if video, and I think it's gonna be a really good one. It's quite a down to earth what if, but it's a one shot, and I feel like it could be something, you know, quite fun. This one, you know, has basis in fact, well, about as factual as you can get with Dragon Ball, that is. Tomorrow will be where I record the discussion. I actually think it's gonna be the last discussion video of the year. The rest, what ifs, like I said yesterday, but still, you know, it's gonna be good. Now, when it comes to cooking, what I did today, I made some steak salsa, which is basically uh, a ribeye steak with like some kind of salsa with aubergines, courgettes, and peppers, and onions, and mushrooms with some rosemary. Yeah, bake that in an oven for about 20 minutes. Yeah, it comes up with some nice salsa. Oh yeah, and you marinate the steaks in uh, Worcestershire sauce and soy sauce with a little bit of pepper. But I suppose the main thing I really did today was like I made another pass of FF7. So managed to work on that a little bit more with just one step closer to actually being done with season three. Yeah, it's gone by relatively quickly. I mean, I can't believe that we started this just back in September. Usually with FF7, we kind of start in June, but this time, you know, wow. We just sped right through it. I suppose the one thing that was really playing on my mind today is about Kemper Abridged. If anyone remembers that from like 2011, 2010, that show was a lot of fun to make. And with the new MasterQuakes.com website, I was thinking about, like I did with Anaphile, putting all of Kemper Abridged hosted on the website. I was literally about to make the whole section live 
And then I just actually looked through a couple of the episodes and technically they really hold up quite well. I'm still happy on that level, but some of the jokes, mm, oh dear, I'm in a bit of a quandary. I'm probably either gonna just not show it on the website or just maybe cut out the more questionable bits or would you guys mind if I did some cutting here and there just to make sure it's palatable and Noah King did an absolutely fantastic job back in the day in fact everybody did I mean except for me obviously I mean I can definitely tell that my voice has definitely improved since then but you're always your own worst critic aren't you and I guess that's pretty much it really I mean the weekend's gonna be much more action-packed because Julie will be here tomorrow with her pals and I'll go and have lunch with them and just see what's going on there and then just preparing for some antics and stuff over the weekend. That's going to be a lot of fun and I'll do my best to vlog as much of it as possible. I'll probably feel a little bit more secure when I'm with other people vlogging, like it's some kind of big event as it were. I do feel self-conscious when I'm vlogging by myself. I mean, I shouldn't, but yeah, I do. Okay, it's time to go out. In the rain. Oh, it's raining, it's raining. Why am I complaining? Oh, yeah, that rhymes. <laughs> and now at the platform, and wow, lots changed in three days. And the flowers I filmed around here, they've all gone. It's quite telling how they've suddenly all disappeared. But I've got some flat white at hand from the coffee shack at the station. Really nice chap, actually. Really nice, good customer service. Really appreciate that. It'll make the difference with my flat white. Nice, good, good. And you get a biscuit as well. All oh, those Lotus Biscot biscuits, man. Oh, we got some spread in the cupboard and I've really been trying to hold off actually just scooping it out like it were Nutella. You really gotta try some and hashtag not spawn. So now all I gotta do is just wait. I've only got about like five minutes until the train arrives and then we can get ourselves up to Victoria and hopefully Julie and her pals have managed to find a way to Victoria. Yeah, I thought about this when I was here on Tuesday, but the green on this lamppost is very similar to the green that we have in our house on our wall in the lounge. Yeah, you can tell how bored I am just waiting for this train. Turns out it's been a bit delayed. And here we have a tree worth soft coffee cups in their own natural habitat. As you can see, they've formulated themselves into the shape of an A to try and blend in with their local surroundings. And as you can tell, they're not exactly the smartest one. Besides, my coffee cup is much prettier. yesterday and it did pretty well. It's got about 20,000 views in its first eight hours and usually if a video, the discussion or a what if gets over 20,000 views, usually that's like a successful video. The what if did it this week. Um, so this video, the discussion did okay. And now just gotta keep on plugging away. So I've gotta make more and more content before I go to Japan. But yeah, so I'm, I'm happy with this week's, you know, um, results as it were. So now all I gotta do is just Wait to get up to Victoria. Well, you didn't think it was gonna be that easy getting up there, did you? It turns out that there was a bit of an incident not only nearby where I live, but also at Clapham Junction, which meant that we had to get off at West Croydon and find our own way there, which meant that I had to go to London Bridge, which is like on the other side of central London, and then take a bit of a tumble. But nonetheless, I was back up, ready to go, having to connect from London Bridge, then to Westminster, and then get on the Circle Line, all the way to Victoria. And okay, it wasn't that many stops, but it was a bit of a kerfuffle. Only to end up being really an hour and a half late, and I barely had any time to hang out with Julie and her friends. But, we did manage to get lunch, and I have proof! So after some lunch, I managed to actually find Julie and everybody. Hey! <laughs> so basically, managed to finally get it worth it, but... Since we were like all delayed on like the yeah you know, getting up here, we've all now got to go get to see each other again eventually. Yeah, nice you guys are gonna go up to Wonderland. Yes. Yeah. I'm Wonderland. I'm super excited. You gotta go work. That's what I do. Yeah, but you'll be, we'll be back with you two tomorrow. Tomorrow, yes, we're gonna see Chicago. So excited. Yeah, and I gotta get myself home. So to add to more of the train drama, we were on the platform 12 just now, ready to go, and they just announced no driver. 
just, just to top everything off, I mean, Julie and I, we both had like really big train trauma today. So I've now just had to get off, go to platform nine, and now we're gonna have to go and do this. And hopefully there'll be a driver for this one. So hopefully I can get home eventually. Because I just found out Smash Brothers was delivered today! Yay! But I gotta go and do some work first, so I gotta edit this vlog. I've gotta do some little bits and pieces for Ant and Team 4 Star for the FF7. But then later, I can settle it in Smash. God, that was just like so 2014, wasn't it? So, let's get home. Hey guys, Lawrence here, and welcome to day 8 of Vlogmas. And today I'm going down to around Gatwick where Julie and her partner are currently, well, getting ready. And today we're going to be hanging out and uh, doing stuff for her travel vlog. So it's kind of like a vlog inception, as it were. So what this is going to entail, essentially, is me cooking some British food. I think it's going to be like a shepherd's pie or a cottage pie. Yeah, it's pretty easy, really. It's like lamb mince and potatoes and carrots, stuff like that. That's easy to do. So I'll, it'll come back to me. I, I cook quite frequently now, so it'll be all right. Then, Later tonight we'll go up and see Chicago. I think some of us are gonna get dressed up for it. And yeah, now I've just gotta go another 14 miles and I'll be there. I managed to find the Julie and you're on the quest for something. What yes. exactly are you looking for? A very, very specific plate pattern for my grandmother. This is close. Yeah. It has to have beautiful pink roses and the gold trim, but it's not exactly the right one. And right. We're looking for what appears to have been a long discontinued set. So any treasure pile, you just kind of never know. We've been looking for for like three or four years now, isn't it now? It's turned into kind of an inside joke. Okay, gang. Spread out the Nutella and search for clues. So this is just basically the local second-hand market area. As you can tell, this like furniture section is really, really nice. It's like it's so cool, and it's like sixty-five quid. It's like a hundred bucks. If I had the room in our house, I would totally buy that. This coffee table is like forty pounds. Just look at this it's an ancient map. And it's really, really good. Nice, sturdy material. It's just like, oh. Probably might get it, or maybe get it delivered or something like that. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah, I might have bought it. You guys will probably see it on Monday, but I just couldn't resist. It was, yeah, that cheap. Normally that would be hundreds. And it's just so different. That coffee table, yeah, that needs to go. There are so many times that our nephews have just banged their heads on it. Back to go to them, and then we'll go shopping, and then I'm gonna cook them lunch. Julie, you've never had one of these before, a pork pie, right? I have not. Yeah, so you can try one? It's pretty what, heavy. What's your overall first impression? My first impression is, I like, my first thing I thought is that I thought it had cranberries in it because of the color. <laughs> so it made me think of like Thanksgiving maybe. No, this but is just Christmas marketing. Christmas marketing. Yeah. Not that Thanksgiving is a thing here anyway, right? Nah. <laughs> Try to make it. We're going to do it next year, hopefully. All right. Yeah. Okay, I'm excited. The results of it, the shepherd's pie or um, cottage pie if you have it with beef, but this is with lamb mince. Got some peas here, so I'm just going to serve up and uh, game end anyone. Don't want this demonetized. Nearly all of it was already eaten and hey, this is good. It means leftovers for the week. That was a real relief because honestly, that's the first time I've made a shepherd's pie. I made a couple of differences to the recipe that I found. I mean, my mum used to make shepherd's pie all the time when I was a kid, but this is the first time I actually made it myself. I added a little extra bit of soy sauce and um, teriyaki sauce, yeah. as well as just like some extra stock cubes, just to kind of give it a bit more of a punch. And I think it went well, so we're now going to go up to town to see Chicago, so I'm not going to take you guys along with us because, you know, having a recording equipment on you might not be that ideal. I will see you later tonight to sign everything off after we've dropped off Julie and Lucas at home. And with that, today was done. Chicago was really, really good. Uh, what wasn't though, was a lot of roadworks happening, which took a long time for us to get back to where Julie and Lucas are currently staying. And uh, we've only just got back and it is half past midnight. So yeah, I think it's safe to say that you guys are going to get this in the morning. I am way too tired. I guess tomorrow you're going to get two vlogs. Maybe. I mean, hey, you're going to at least get one. Anyway, hope you're well. And once again, one is glad to be of service.